to set up the argon part of this. And with new canisters like this one, they usually have a plug in it that needs to be removed. And just using a pair of pliers to pull on the tab will usually make quick work of this. And this is when you need that regulator that came with the kit. Setting this up is pretty straightforward, just put the end of this into the canister, and then just thread in this large hex part. And it's best to go slow with this and do it by hand at first, just to make sure you're not cross-threading anything and you won't have any leaks. And like I said before, this is completely optional. Argon is known as an inert gas, and all that really means is it's non-reactive, unlike water and oxygen which is found in the air. And this basically just makes a little shield around where you're welding, and this will result in better welds and more consistent welds. But once you have everything hand tight, you can tighten this up with a wrench, and you plug in the other end of that hose right here. And just like before, push it in until it stops, and then pull on a little bit to make sure it doesn't slide out. But if you do need to take it out for some reason, all you have to do is push on this piece and pull the tube out. But with all that done, we can finally open up the canister itself, and as I'm doing this, you can see that one of the gauges start moving. And this is telling you the pressure of the canister. And this other gauge is how much pressure you're letting out through the regulator. And you're going to be controlling all of this with this knob here, which which should be very loose like this when it's completely closed. So you're going to want to start turning this in the plus direction, and you just want to set this to around 7 liters per minute. And with that all done, this is ready to use.